guys and what's up and uh, in today's video it's going to be episode number one episode number one of actually tying everything together so if you remember uh, what we did in the previous videos was all sorts of different technologies we've covered how to deploy to Heroku um, uh, I think that the best the best illustration of what we've done so far is essentially over here, which is in the GitHub repo, and you can also have a look at that. We've uh, we've done meta-based data visualization. Uh, we've uh, we've used Node.js, AngularJS, and MySQL. Uh, we've used Intercom, and we've done deploying to Heroku. And if you look at the blog, the way that it looks currently, it's uh, this, which is the theme. This is the new feature, which is the themes feature. So. If I, uh, what happened here? Okay, I was, I need to do Nodemon server. And I'm also, let's first talk about how to actually um, how to clone and install the project. I feel like that will be the best possible, uh, best possible use of our time. This is episode number one. If you want to go back and check, uh, delve a little deeper into other aspects of the repo, you can definitely check out the channel and that's going to show you pretty much uh, tutorials on every single uh, piece of the puzzle, which is these four, um, uh, deploying to Heroku and the project structure. And uh, the first thing we want to do is actually clone this project, okay? And then you're going to go into Cloner Downloads. You're going to click that, copy it. You're going to do um, uh, git clone, let's see, cmd. Uh, CD desktop git clone and like this okay you're gonna press enter the once you're done with this you're gonna do wait let me see if I actually have the tutorial on the actual website one sec guys let's see hmm. ah, I do have everything here on the website git clone CD into MySQL node angular npm install and then finally nodemon uh, and then finally nodemon server.js and that's pretty much what we've done over here as well okay uh, nodemon server okay you don't need the js and the feature that we're building currently is this one over here which is the theme section okay so let's say I click on themes here I noticed that um, there's something like 12 different Bootswatch themes. I'm not sure how many there are here. One, two, three, four, five, five times three, 15, 16 different themes. And all you need to do is just click on it. Ah, what happened there? That's not good. Oh, no, no, it changed everything. I think it's good because it changed the color, as you can notice. Okay, it changed it to white. I go back to the home and it's still white. So I'm gonna click a different theme, Cyborg, right? It's gonna make everything black. There we go. Everything is black. I click to the home page and everything is still black, black on the Cyborg theme. Let's say I refresh this. I refresh this. It's gonna go back to the previous theme, which is Darkly, okay? So we're away from, uh, away from that one. But that's, of course, this is going to be a feature both for the logged in user and also for um, uh, for visitors. But mainly it's for the logged in user because we have a database and this is how MySQL fits into this new feature. We have a database that is going to add another column to the database and that's the client theme. Okay, we need to add that to the database and we can do that actually through this specific uh, query over here, SQL alter, okay, control C. I just want to make sure I have over here the actual table. What's the name of it? It's called the blog post. It's called the client table, okay? If I click on the client table, this is a, um, an app called create code database. Where's my client table? Ah, here's my client table. Client name. It doesn't have the client theme, as you can see over here. These are the six columns, six current columns. And now we're going to go into here. We're going to get into what this is shortly. Going to get the SQL alter, alter column table. And we want to do add alter table, control C. So let's go back in here. We've got 10 seconds. We're going to continue in the next video how to continue, uh, how to uh, alt add this next table to uh, this next column to the table.